So, what of Mikel Arteta, who is in that strange situation where he finds himself sitting next to Pep Guardiola today on the city bench, but he is the favourite to be the next Arsenal manager. He's also apparently in the running to be uh, the next Everton manager as well. Um, <laughs> he is your pal. <laughs> what can you tell us, Julian? Is he, is he bursting with ambition to get started as a manager, do you think? Um... At the moment, probably not. I think um, there's obviously ambitions there to manage. I'm not sure it's the right time for him now um, in, in terms of will he leave. Uh, but looking at the two options, they're great opportunities for him. Obviously, he played at both clubs, so I'm sure going there, uh, if he does decide to, to leave Man City, obviously you'll relish the opportunity. But for me, I, I see him staying to the end of the season um, and just being part of what they're trying to build because I, I still believe their, their ambition at our goal with Pep is still in the Champions League. If you were him, would you be rushing to get this Arsenal job? Hmm. You, you look at the performances then, there's a lot of work to do, there's no doubt about that. But this is a huge job, it's a huge club, one of the biggest clubs in the country. He's never managed before and he's getting talked about getting one of the biggest, as I said, biggest jobs. Will Arsenal come round again? The next man comes in, he does a good job, he could be here four or five years. He'll he want to start somewhere. Of course, there may be talk of actually if Pep Guardiola was supposed to close at the end of the season or maybe in 18 months' time he moves on, could he be the man who, who takes that next step? Uh, but there won't be many bigger clubs than this, what Mikel Arteta as a manager. And if it is a toss-up between Everton or, or Arsenal, Arsenal's the bigger club. Got more chance of being successful, playing Champions League football. So this, this is a huge job. Forget what we're seeing here. Yeah, of course, it needs a turnaround with, with personnel and players, but this is one of the, the best jobs you can get in the Premier League. And if, if these make an offer for them, I, I think it is hard to turn down. Do you think um, Mikel Arteta is the type of candidate that Arsenal should be going for, Graham? Not really. I mean, I don't know the boy, but I know that being a coach and a manager are two quite different jobs. You know, being a, a very good coach doesn't mean you're going to transfer to be a good manager. I think this club, and Everton as well, um, may never come around, I take your point, Jimmy, may never come around from a game because they're not going to not a point between now and f January. So and that guy could be in, in position for a number of years. So they might not come, come around again. Um, you know, the, the, the guy who gets this job and, and Everton is going, is going to have to make, you know, it's not just about being on the training ground and getting the best of the players there. Make some very important football decisions going forward. Arteta won't have done that. I mean, I think... You've got to start somewhere, though, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I think if you're Arteta, if I was in Arteta's shoes, um, I'd be saying to Pep, you know, I've got the chance to go. To go. I mean, what's your five-year plan, three-year plan? Because he must have a great chance. If they have three years of success... But there's no you, guarantee that they would... No, but they would no, that's what I'm going to say. If, if, if your plan is to stay here three years, then I'd be expecting to take over from you. And Pep might say, well, I'm going to be here one year, two years, or five years. And then that would be his call. Um, but I think in an ideal world, you would stay there, work under Pep, because I would imagine he's going to leave it in great shape. And you know the, you know the situation. But, but you, you spoke about the Arsenal job and the fact mm. that he hasn't got an experience as manager. Well, isn't that just exactly the same thing at Manchester City? No, but he'd be taking over a far healthier situation. Mm. You know, we both accept it coming here. But if I, it's a far healthier situation at Man City, would they not have more options to actually bring in a, a different no, manager than Arsenal would? But I, again, I don't know the boy, so I don't know how he's deemed around the place. The, 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 you know, the, the board might already say... No, he's very well respected by the players. There's City. a lot of individual work with, uh, with the players. Obviously, Pep takes the, the general tactics. It, but, um, yeah, but my, my argument to, is it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's big football decisions, not yeah. just about being on the training to, ground. To Graham's, to, point on that, to Graham's point on that, Julian, do you think he is qualified? to do that sort of stuff? Yeah, definitely. What, in Why? terms of making the big decisions? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Only time would tell. And obviously, if he made the right decisions at the time, where no one can say if he's qualified before he's had to, to kind of decide on that. Um, in regards to Arsenal, yeah, it's going to be a difficult job. But for me, um, I would like to see someone like Patrick Vieira. The, the fact that players like that stature in the global football have played for this club and, and none of them are here is, is quite surprising to me. What do you think this club needs, Bakary? I mean, you've played with Arteta as well. well. <laughs> It needs a lot. I think we, we need a face to represent the club, first of all. You have an owner you never see. If you think about Manchester City, it's clear like Khaldun and Mubarak is a chef and he's taking the old decisions. In Arsenal, you don't really know what's going to happen. He got rid of an IMRI, but he didn't have any B plan. And for a club like Arsenal, a club as pre prestigious as Arsenal, everything should be defined. And at the minute, it's a big mess. And first of all, they need to find the right right manager 
and the right attitude on the pitch because well, you have some players not running enough and not making runs. Who do you think that right manager could be then, if not Arteta? Carlo Ancelotti. I think he's well respected in, in the world of football and I think he's really close to the players and I think he can bring something, uh, something good to the club. I don't agree with Ancelotti. Uh, obviously, we've all got opinions on it. I think Ancelotti, he makes uh, very good teams, maybe even better, takes them that next step. This is, this is a big job. This is a rebuilding job. I don't think Ancelotti's ever really been into clubs before and took a group of players like this. He's always gone to top teams and it's more about man management uh, and getting the best out of real top players, getting them on side. I think there's a lot more needed here. This is, this is a big job. It's a rebuilding job. It doesn't suit Ancelotti. What do you think? Well, he has the Italian touch, so defensively, tactically, he's going to be working a lot. That's the first point. Uh, during his time at Chelsea, he did quite well. He was close to the players, and I think players need some love. Players like Mesut Ozil need some love. Uh, Lacazette needs some love. They are the type of players who are performing when they feel the love around them. And at the minute, it's like... A bit lost. He needs more than love. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone needs a bit of love around here. Come back to Arsene Wenger was 23 years. 23 years here. Yeah. I mean, if you're at a club 23 years, surely you're, you're, you're grooming your successor. Where's the succession going to happen? So you walk out the door, and then they're starting. Is that Arsene's again. fault, or is that the, the I'll, fault I'll, of, of the owners of the football? I'll, club? I would say it was Arsene's fault. Is that your I'm, job as a manager to groom the man who's going to replace you? So Alex's fault that Man United haven't done that then. When, when he walked out the door they just won the league. That, yeah but that you say grooming his successor. If you're talking yeah, about grooming his successor then... Yeah, yeah. Well I, I think that. that should have been the case. He did leave when they just won the league. Arsene Wenger left here and this place needed major, a major overhaul and we're seeing, we're seeing it now two years down the line. New guy comes in found it very difficult. It's a, it's a, this is a big job as you point out. But I just think if you're 23 years at a football club and you're for the likes of Vieira, Thierry Henry other big names, so not one of them you thought mm, might be a manager. Yeah. He can work under me, I'll, I'll groom him, I'll look after him, and then he'll take over. And I just yeah. think when he left, then it was we're now going out into the wide world to find a new manager. Yes, if you don't want to make them like the main manager, at least keep them into the club because they have the DNA of Arsenal. At the minute, they're all around the place. You're talking about people like Patrick Vieira, Thierry yeah, Henry. Yeah, Patrick Vieira, Thierry Henry, so Campbell. They really love the club, but at the minute they're everywhere except at their own club where they've been shining. And I think that's what Arsenal should have to do and work on. Just to compare it before we, we hear from Freddie Youngberg, with the Spurs situation, when they changed their manager, they had a replacement within two hours. We're two weeks now and counting. Is this then the wrong way to do it? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a bit of a mess, really. It's a mess all over the place in Arsenal right now. And they changed the manager because it was just toxic in the stadium. And it can get like that and you need to make a change. But it wasn't on the back of one result that was, you know, losing to a lower league team in the FA Cup. Sometimes you, sometimes you might change your manager and you do it really quickly. They've had weeks before. It was, it was a build-up. Everyone was saying they knew where it was going to go. They knew it was going to happen. They made the change. What are we, three weeks in now? They're talking about interviewing 10 or 12 people. How long does that take to interview these people, getting them round the table, speaking to them, then narrowing it down to three people, and then you'd interview again? Maybe that's something you do in a summer. It's not something you can do in the middle of a season. This, this season's almost has to be written off, really, in some ways. For so, us. So, do you think then in that you case? You see, within two hours, got a job. Jose Mourinho. Yeah, but the conversations have been taking place for two weeks. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, is that the right more. approach to do it? Is that the right approach well, rather than going is. through the process, yeah. sacking the manager and then going look for a, a, well, a place? Well, I think if it's in your mind, they have not woke up on Saturday morning whenever they lost, was it to... Who did they lose to you, Southampton? Who did they lose to Brighton. You? Brighton. Did, whoever, when he lost his job. They didn't wake up or go to bed and I think, right, I'm changing the manager. That, must, that, that doesn't happen like that. You know, there's a, there's a build-up to it. And then at that time, when you've made your mind up, there's, you know... We'll give them three games. You're actually looking at that time. Or if we give them four games, we're actually looking. At Arsenal look as if they're, they're. I mean, there can't be ten candidates for this job. Not, not the kind of players I, they're looking for. I, I think uh, now in football, changing manager now. Boards now are so obsessed with supporters' feelings. I don't know if it's a big thing with social media. C can you imagine Arsene Wenger getting this job now when he's coming from Grand Passaic? Uh, I think that was the club he came from in '96. C can you imagine that? One of the maybe the best Arsenal manager ever. You go back to actually George Graham. I think he came from was it Millwall? I think in the, the mm -hmm. second division. Mm -hmm. Clubs don't make those appointments now because you know if they did, fans would go bananas. They go crackers. They, no, we can't have this. Everyone's obsessed with social media. And let's get this big name. Let, let's get this man. This one's not good enough. Everton, Everton 
You're talking about another club looking for a manager. They may not be looking for a manager now on the back of the two results they've had. But there's no doubt that board wanted to appoint David Moyes. And they were terrified of the fans' reaction. Really, on social media, people spray well, things outside the ground. Well, they'll be happy appointed Duncan tonight. The reaction <laughs> no, of course. From the supporters. What I'm saying is now, they, they, they're obsessed with how the support... I don't think it was like that in the past because you didn't have supporters... They're, they're obsessed with Latin-sounding names, the people who make these decisions. As if, we don't have a, as if we don't have any good British coaches. It's as if you have to well, be... There are plenty in the Premier League um, right now. Uh, just going back to the, the, the point on Arsenal should have had somebody in place. Do you think it was a mistake then in this situation, to get rid of Unai Emery? Yes, it was. I believe it was. Unless you really have some, some, someone in mind, you shouldn't be firing your main manager without having a replacement, a replacement for, for him and for the club, because how long has it been now? Just over two weeks. It's a lot. To me, it's a lot, because over two weeks, Four they games. had to play games, exactly. Potentially 12 points they could have had, and they didn't. Do you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I think the way that Spurs did their business, um, it kind of just emphasises how lack of control and, and structure that Arsenal have at the moment. And, and as an Arsenal fan, it's not a good time to kind of see your neighbours kind of surpassing you in terms of league position, but also the organisation of the club as well. So we're saying all clubs should line up their mm. the replacement for the manager before they you sack know, it. The, the thing you've got to give him credit, Daniel Levy, he appointed the man who was unpopular with the, t t uh, the Tottenham supporters. He was. Even he, and the, when it came out that Jose Mourinho was getting the job, the Tottenham supporters weren't happy. I saw a, a few of them midweek in, in Bayern. They still weren't happy with Jose Mourinho. But at least... The he didn't give him a chance to fans to react, did he? But listen, he didn't give no, him a but what I'm saying is, at least Daniel, I think that's the right man. I'm going to make a decision. It's worked at the start. We don't know what it'll be like over three or four years. But make that decision and just give it to the man who thinks right. The Arsenal board know who they want to give the job to. But it's almost like a panic. They're terrified of actually making a mistake so that they then can't actually make a decision. 